How you doing today, folks? Tomorrow I'm getting ready to go out. This is going to be my last two days of walleye fishing this year. They're spawning right now. After that, I'm pretty much going to be on crappie till about second week of April, middle of April. And then after that, that's when I am more concerned about the white bass. Uh, tomorrow I'm going to try a new tactic that I discovered by accident while I was inside the academy store. Uh, right here is what they call a bottom bouncer. It is a metal wire with a weight in the middle of it and then your line goes through here. Now, bottom bouncer can only be, be fished vertically. I've had these for two years. Never really had much luck with it. But what I stumbled across is called a bottom crawler. Bottom walker, I'm sorry. It is a bottom walker. And as you can see, what it is is there's a three quarter ounce weight on the bottom. Metal rod comes up right here. And then it has a white float. It's a very large white piece of styrofoam. And then at the top of that, it has two wires that come off to where you have, can have two minnows or two jigs or whatever. But this is different than what you would think. You actually tie it on by the weight. And then you can actually cast this and retrieve it as opposed to a bottom bouncer, you can only fish vertically straight up and down. This is meant to be drag and it's supposedly 85 to 90 percent snag free we'll just find out tomorrow because last week i lost about 30 jigs in one damn day so i'll probably still lose three or four of these so i bought six just to be safe and one other thing that i did with these which is pretty cool this is one of them open by the way see how it's got the two things there that's a snap swivel on each end but basically the further you are away the more it's going to lean over but when you stop reeling in it will stand back up because this bobber will slide up so what you want to do is actually pull it really slow and it's only it's about 12 inches tall so it will keep it about a foot off the bottom i see this working well with rocks riprap and small logs that do not have a lot of branches on them but if you get into certain areas i don't care what you say you're going to get hung up so I'll, I will lose a few of my, I already know for a fact, but it will cut down on my hangups probably by, by 80%. But uh, let me get back to what I said. As you notice, the one, the one on the right side, or this side right here, that's how it comes. But as you can see here, you're, you're able to change this weight. So out of the six I bought, I went ahead and upgraded the weight to a little heavier. Uh, because certain places that I anchor, I'm going to be fishing down current where I can pull that in slower and it'll keep it down. As opposed to, I like to fish casting upriver. The problem is, is when I anchor and do that, then my anchor rope is right there where I'm trying to cast. And there's been several times when me and her accidentally get our lure hooked in the rope. And I'm trying to avoid that. So I put a one out sinker on that to keep it down further. I just took... All you gotta do is just slide that off and I was able to change it. So some of the things I'm gonna try tomorrow, and this is, I'm trying to catch Jumbo Walleye. So I bought six of them. I also bought some of these big five inch swim baits that are really fancy looking. And uh, I'm gonna try them. I also got some uh, a whole pack of big bucktail jigs that are only a quarter ounce so they won't see the problem is I don't want to put a lot of weight on them wires on the top because then they're just gonna hang down I have to keep it light so when I put those swim baits on I'm just gonna use regular just regular hooks like that don't want to use jig heads because it's gonna pull them wires down you want to keep it off the bottom I tried to find some floating jig heads and unfortunately I can't find any around here I'd have to order them online and I ain't got enough time for that because I'm going in the morning. If I do good tomorrow, I'm also going Sunday, both days. Um, I also got another insider tip. These are called slab magnets. 
and although these are only two and a half inches long personally seen a guy catch five jumbo walleye in the five pound area accidentally while using these to fish for crappie he ended up catching five walleye accidentally wasn't even fishing for walleye and uh, so I'm gonna try them and tip them with minnows as well I got when I go in the morning I'm gonna have about 34 inch minnows also four inch shiners um, and that will improve my catch rate now I don't know what you're thinking, well these are dead. Yeah, they are dead. But, they're four to six inches long. And since I'm going to be constantly dragging and pulling and twitching that bottom walker, it don't matter if they're dead. They're gonna, the, the fish is going to bite those when they see that it looks like a, a minnow that just died falling down. It's always going to be when it's diving down. So I got two packs of them. They're called Emerald Shiners. They actually did work for me last week, except the problem is the walleye are notorious for just ripping your minnow off the hook. So I also got what they call stinger hooks. That is one of the most important things that I've had to learn the hard way is when you're not using stinger hooks, you're going to miss so many sauger and walleye because they are very finicky, light biters. Sometimes they just peck at it twice and then you go to set the hook and they're gone. So what a stinger hook is, basically it's just a little four inch wire. It slides over your regular hook and it's a little tiny treble hook. I don't know what size, but it's pretty relatively small. And what you do, you're using a little, say you're using a two inch twister tail, you tip that middle on your regular hook, but you also got that stinger hook on the hook and you hook that treble hook into the tail of the minnow. That way, when the fish come up to bite your lure and minnow, they get hooked by the treble hook and not the regular hook gets them catches them off guard even if they're light biters they're going to most likely get hooked by that stinger hook okay so i got that going for me tomorrow at the plus side i'm also bringing four poles i've never tried this line before it's 12 pound suffix a little on the higher end for price wise i decided hey i want to give it a different brand that i've never tried a new try we're going to see how that goes. I'm upgrading my line from 8 pound to 12. But it's kind of like a, it's a greenish color. So it, the, the water where I'm going is green. So it will kind of match the uh, water clarity and so on. So we're going to see how I do. Also, got a ton of the one ounce jig heads. Also got a ton of the half ounce jig heads because I will be doing where I use the trolling motor to go to the front of the hole and then I just let the current bring me back down through the hole and I'll fish vertically like that sometimes with a regular jig without the bottom dragger. I also got four walleye crankbaits specifically for walleye. Walleye diver that's kind of like a purple and a silver. This one here is very very bright pink and purple with green dots this one here is like a perch kind of like you'd see up in in the Great Lakes a yellow perch green yellow and orange and black you can call it flower tiger or whatever and of course your original Rapala now when I use that bottom walker I can put this one on the other ones would be kind of stupid because they're gonna pull far and just go right into the bottom but this if I retrieve it right and just give it little twitches I can use that bottom walker for those stick baits like that I got 30 or 40 of these these are custom made hand tied bucktail jigs 20 different colors 20 different sizes I got hand handfuls of them all kinds of them and they vary from one eighth ounce all the way up to three quarters of an ounce and of course I'm going to be using different colors of these and I'm going to try them where there's two of them on there tipped with minnows you know green yellow orange white black gray got some real large 
bucktail jigs. I'm going to tip those with minnows. You can also, if you can't find stinger hooks, you can just buy little regular treble hooks and then tie. When you tie a lure on, you want to leave about six inches of line after you don't, when you cut your, uh, when you tie your knot off, you want to leave about six inches and then you tie that stinger hook down. And then whenever you use a, if you use a jig and a minnow, it, or even if you're not using a minnow, you can hook that stinger hook in, inside the rear end of your lure, like your twister tail, or you can stick it, like I said, in the tail of the minnow. That way you got two different hooks in there and they are gonna bite that instead of your regular hook. So the question and moral of this story is, is this technique gonna work? Well, stay tuned to find out. Sunday night, I'm getting ready to go for two days straight and I'm gonna try this tactic. Will it work or not? That is the question. If it does, then I think I'm on to something. And I think this method will work for other species as well. Catfishing, uh, deep water bass, largemouth. You can use a variety. And, and the cool thing uh, about these is the fact that it has the two hooks. It doubles your chance there right away. I guess the trick question is how snag free are these things really? Bottom walker. They are made by Kamal Tackle Company. Like I said, I found these at Academy. I I see them working. Um, like I said, they're probably not totally snag free, but they they will help, and especially in areas that just got a lot of small rocks, like below a dam of a lake where there's really not a lot of wood cover, just riprap. Uh, like below Lake Barkley and Kentucky Lakes, you're always getting hung up. I think them things would work really well. Like I said, the only size them came in was the was the half ounce and three quarter ounce weight. I am gonna pull most of those weights off and put it to a one ounce to keep that thing down, especially when you're in current. But I think it will work. Uh, you can use, I, I'm pretty sure it worked great with night crawlers uh, in ponds for even bluegill. It keeps it right exactly a foot off the bottom. So, you know, it, that thing, it's going to end up probably being used a lot. If it works this weekend for me, it's going to be something I probably continue to use all throughout the year for certain things. Uh, pretty much every fish species except for crappie because crappie are never that close to the bottom, rarely. But every other species it will work with. Um, so stay tuned. Like I said, watch Sunday night for a video. And we're gonna see how these things work. All right, folks, see you soon. Hit that like button and please subscribe.